This video will provide an overview of how to read airport signs and markings. Knowing how to read airport signs and markings is critical in order to safely taxi, take off, and land. A student pilot may be asked to identify various airport signs and markings on their private pilot written exam and check ride. When you see the white transcription with the runway numbers on a red background, this indicates a runway holding sign. In this chart, runway 9 and 27 intersect runways 13 and 31. If a pilot had just landed or was taxiing on runway 9, they would need clearance from ground control before proceeding further along the runway. This is assuming the pilot is complying with land and hold short operations. The black and yellow symbol on the left side of the screen indicates a runway boundary marker. The aircraft that is on the runway about to exit would be on the dashed side of the lines. The aircraft that is waiting for clearance to proceed onto the runway would be on the side of the solid lines. This is a question that may be found on the private pilot written exam. A yellow letter on a black background indicates a taxiway as shown. A yellow letter on a black background that is next to the runway holding sign indicates that a pilot is on a taxiway and needs to hold short of the runway until receiving ATC clearance. A red sign with white letters with a number followed by the abbreviation A, P, C, H indicates an approach holding sign and is a signal to pilots to hold short of the approach end of the runway. In this example, a pilot would need to hold short of the approach end of runway 15 until receiving ATC clearance. A taxiway directional sign features a black letter on a yellow background with an arrow pointing to the taxiway. In this example, if a pilot was on taxiway B, they would make a slight turn to the right to proceed onto taxiway A. Here is another view of a taxiway and what a pilot would see if they were on taxiway A. As you can see the E with the arrows pointing right and left indicate the intersecting taxiway E. The black stripes that look like a sideways ladder with the yellow background indicates an ILS critical area as shown. The red sign with the white letters ILS indicate a holding sign for an ILS critical area. This sign indicates that aircraft entry is prohibited in the area. According to the Aeronautical Information Manual, this sign would typically be located on a taxiway intended to be used in only one direction or at the intersection of vehicle roadways with runways, taxiways, or aprons where the roadway may be mistaken as a taxiway or other aircraft movement surface. Yellow numbers on a black background indicate the runway sign. For example, if a pilot saw this sign, they would be on runway 15. Black numbers on a yellow background are destination signs and indicate common taxi routes for the runway or runways specified. Runway distance remaining signs have a black background with a white numerical inscription as shown. The number on the sign indicates the remaining landing runway length available in thousands of feet. In this example, a pilot seeing this sign would have 3,000 feet of landing runway left. This is an image of a precision instrument runway. Notice the aiming point, touchdown zone, and threshold markings. The runway is 20 left. Runway numbers are determined by the magnetic approach course to the runway with the last digit removed. For example, a runway facing due north would have a runway number of 36 since 360 degrees is the magnetic heading for due north. Therefore, a runway pointing due south would have a runway number of 18. When there are arrows pointing before the runway threshold markings as shown, this indicates a displaced threshold. According to the Aeronautical Information Manual, the portion of runway behind a displaced threshold is available for takeoffs in either direction and landings from the opposite direction. 
The dashed lines on a taxiway indicate a taxiway holding marker and the solid lines on the outside of the taxiway define the edge of the usable taxiway. The dashed lines on a taxiway are an indication that adjacent taxiway is available. The taxiway centerline marking is a solid yellow line as illustrated. Notice the vehicle lane markings. Vehicle lane markings will typically have white solid lines on the edge of the usable roadway and dashed white lines in the center. Runways and taxiways that are closed or temporarily closed will have X's on them as shown. This sign indicates a taxiway ending marker and is an indication that the taxiway does not continue. Thank you for watching this video. You should now have a better understanding of how to read airport signs and markings. Please like the video and subscribe for more aviation-related educational videos.